and then he decimates me with a flare blitz. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator and welcome back to Pokemon Day Random Battles. Yes, my Nuzlocke is over. So, um, we're out here with a Floatzel against this Hypno. My Floatzel has a Choice Band, so that Waterfall is going to do a lot of damage to that Hypno. He goes for the Toxic. Luckily, it misses, and this Waterfall looks like it's going to be a two-hit KO if he keeps that Hypno in. Um, he goes for the Protect, which is pretty good. He might be scouting if I'm going to switch my moves up. He might be uh, trying to just get some Leftovers Recovery. Either way, a pretty good choice um, in this fight. So we'll go ahead and waterfall one more time, and it is enough to take out the Hypno, which is super, super fortunate. My Floatzel has no damage, no status. Uh, the Hypno kind of just stood there. Not the greatest use I've ever seen, unfortunately. Um, he's got a Flareon. I'm not going to use the waterfall because I think it's being lured. I think he has something else, and yes, he takes out the Flareon and brings in a Lapras, presumably with Storm Drain. So it was not a great switch to bring my Chandelure in here, but I'm going to try and make the best of it with uh, some Calm Minds. And he goes for the Hydro Pump, which fucking decimates Chandelure, even with uh, a little special defense boost. That's just fine, though. We've got uh, plenty more gas in the tank. Here comes the x and and uh, this is a choice x Bloud as well, choice specs. So I'm going to hit that Lapras with Focus Blast, which is going to be super effective because of its Ice-type coverage. Um, it's doing some pretty nice damage. You can see that usually if your Pokemon is choice, it's going to um, make most things a two-hit a two KO instead of a three-hit KO. He brings the Flareon back in. The Flareon has really good um, special defense doesn't really matter because I missed my uh, focus focus blast there. I'm thinking the facade's gonna come. I'm sad Chandelure's dead, but luckily I do have another ghost, which is Miss Magus. So I will send that thing in there, and he does go for this facade as expected. Um, so it's good. I avoided that damage. He'll get a little toxic going on himself. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to save this Miss Magus, so I uh, just throw a Shadow Ball in its face, and then he decimates me with a Flare Blitz. Uh, but that is a lot of recoil damage. Ah, it, I could have dodged that Flare Blitz really good. Chandelure would have blocked Flareon almost completely, so I think it was uh, not the greatest idea that I let it die to a Lapras. We got the B Drill here. B Drill's gonna do some things, um, although I'm not quite sure what. Poison Jab. Yes, Poison Jab. Whatever it is, it'll take it out because Beedrill now has his uh, Mega Evolution, which makes him so much faster and so much stronger. And holy shit, there is a Dialga. So, um, a little bit nervous. I'm going to take my Beedrill back and uh, we'll send an Escavalier because he does have the Drill, drill Run, which I think will hit this uh, Steel Dragon type that Dialga is. Unfortunately, he has the fucking Fire Blast. <laughs> And I take that to the face. This battle is now on the uh, the offside. It's not really going well as far as I would uh, call it. Three against four, but I have not seen his uh, all of his Pokemon, and he has now seen all of mine, so he can sort of play around. Uh, he stalls a bit with the Dialga and puts a uh, Toxic on my x Cloud, which is good because it gives me a chance to Focus Blast him in the face and take that thing down considerably. Uh, but he does have a Trevenant, so this next Focus Blast is gonna miss completely, which is really shitty. I'm gonna have to switch x Bloud out, um, and I'm not really sure. I guess Floatzel? Um, maybe Beedrill could do some Poison Jabby things, but I'm really hesitant to switch him back in and out because the Stealth Rocks are now up because of that Dialga. Um, so I sent out Floatzel against the Trevenant. He sets a sub Substitute up while I go for Ice Punch. Um, and unfortunately he is faster than me. I didn't realize how fast Trevenant is and he's able to take my Floatzel down with a Horn Leech. So, uh, very, very bad position that we are in to say the least. Uh, here comes the x -Bloud. Hopefully he has a super effective move. There's the Fire Blast. Boom! Knock that Trevenant. Pretty good. I know his Lapras, Dialga, and Trevenant, he fails to make a substitute, which is huge. Uh, all his Pokemon are relatively low on health, but all I have left is this x Cloud and a Beedrill, so it's coming down to the wire on this battle, definitely. Uh, but we are able to take it down with a second Fire Blast since he did miss, mess up a little bit uh, going for the Substitute instead of like a direct damage move. Dialga, back out here again. Uh, my nemesis. I could take it out with a Fire Blast, I think. 
Um, he hits me with the fire blast, but I'm able to just live. Ah, and I missed! <laughs> and I missed my fire blast, which would have taken the dog down. This is not good. Uh, we've got Beedrill. Beedrill left. Beedrill's gonna have to do it. All he has is a poison jab and X scissor and like toxic spikes and weird shit. So, uh, here comes the X scissor. Oh, it's a critical! We definitely needed that critical hit because it was resisted. And, uh, we might just stand a chance here now, perhaps. He comes out with the victory bell, which is interesting. I don't think it's gonna have anything that's gonna be able to hit me super effective. Even like a vine whip or something. Same type attack is gonna be four times resisted. So, uh, he goes for the sleep powder instead. Which is fortunate for me in a way because uh, once I wake up, I'm going to be able to get my swords dance. He brings in the Lapras, which is a good waste of a turn. And um, I think sword dance or X scissor, sword dance or X scissor, sword dance. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna wake up. <clears throat> X scissor to the face. <laughs> it was not sword dance. Um, and the Lapras goes down. Really, really fortunate. Lapras's defense stat is not that great. And uh, we're going to be able to take out this Victor Bell as well. Yes. Yes. That's uh, that's the boosted Beedrill. Doing what he does the best. Dang. So awesome, dude. So freaking cool. I'm glad we won with him. We do have another battle. Uh, another random battle, as you may have expected. And we'll get into that now. He leads off with an Infernape, which is a very, very scary thing, especially since I lead off with a Gorgeist. Uh, I've got Ghost Typing, which will resist his fighting, but the uh, Fire Type of his will definitely beat my Ground Typing. So I switch out into Ho-Ho. Ho-Oh. <laughs> he goes for a Nasty Plot, which tells me that he doesn't have Stone Edge or Rock Slide probably, unless it's a mixed Infernape. So I go ahead and go for the Brave Bird with my Ho-Oh while he switches out to a Torkoal. Now, Torkoal has a ton of physical defense, but Ho-Oh has a ton of attack. So it knocked a pretty good hole. We're going to get about a three hit KO on this thing. I keep pushing for the Brave Bird because I think he's going to go for Shell Smash or something like that, and he definitely does. Um, Stealth Rock would not be good either, but Shell Smash is what I'm really afraid of. Once Torkoal gets two, two Shell Smashes under his belt, um, He'll, he'll just have a field day with basically everything on my team. So definitely goes down to uh, another Brave Bird. Super fortunate. And um, we're, we're looking good. An early KO for us, which is all I really could ever ask for. He's got a Cresselia, which is a very bulky, bulky thing. He puts a Toxic on my Ho-Oh, which is not a problem. Um, Ho-Oh has Regenerator, I believe, which heals 33% of its HP every time it switches out. I don't know if this Ho-Oh in particular has it, but I sure hope it does. Uh, I go for the Sacred Fire, burn the Cresselia, which is nice. We're going to get some residual damage from that thing. And then I'll switch back out to my Gorgeist just to uh, kind of take a few hits, see what he's going to do. He goes for the Calm Mind, which is a little bit scary. I'm thinking if maybe I could leech seed him or something, then we could uh, get the residual damage and just take him out really fast. But he does go for the ice beam, which is fucking scary, especially with a uh, with a calm mind on him. I get my substitute up. Um, I think I'm gonna fling some leech seeds at him on the next turn, and then we can probably get a little bit more healing because I'm really scared at only 20% <laughs> HP. That's not good. I don't want to lose Gorgeist. He is uh, a really cool utility Pokemon. So, yeah, decent decent healing with the uh, Leftovers Recovery and the Leech Seed. But I'm not going to be able to take another Psychic. So I'm going to get Gorgeist out of there. Come back, little buddy, and we'll go into Illumis. In case it decides to Calm Mind again, um, I got the Encore on this little thing. It also has Tailwind, uh, Thunder Wave, and Bug Buzz. So plenty of options for little Illumis. Um, it's gonna die. The Cresselia's gonna die next turn to Leech Seed and Burn, so I go ahead and set up a Tailwind for the rest of my team, and that will come in probably pretty handy for, um, well, especially Gorgeist, because he's a little bit on the slower side, as well as Illumis, because, um, yeah, she's a little bit lacking as well in the offensive stats. Luckily, the Cresselia goes down. Really a stally thing. I'm glad it didn't have Rest or Moonlight or anything like that. Maybe it did and he just didn't use it, but um, here comes the Swalot, so I'm going to get my Illumis out of there. And this is the Regenerator Ho-Oh. I sent him back in. He's at 100 health. Um, 
and he can, and the Swalot cannot use Yawn on me since I already have the status condition afflicting me. I can't say that I was really expecting that. Um, I didn't know what he was going to use, but I do know that Ho-Oh is a nice, safe, bulky switch. So even that Sludge Bomb doesn't do that much. We could switch him out right now and bring him back in at 100 health, but I ain't gonna. I'm gonna smash this thing with a Brave Bird. Blam! And uh, I think after burn damage, that thing should go down relatively easy. Ooh, but he pulls off the pain split. Fuck. So, um, Roost is not going to be a good option while this thing is out here. Unless I can do it right now, and then on the next turn, yeah, okay. Here comes the Roost. I don't think he's going to use pain split again, uh, because he didn't think I was going to Roost. And I will be faster him on the next faster than him on the next turn, so I'll just make sure to use uh, Brave Bird or some such um, so he doesn't have a chance to, to make a comeback, really. And uh, here comes a Skarmory. Guess what? Pain Split again, because I fucking destroyed myself on that turn. I, I should have had a little more foresight there. I don't know why I did what I did, to be quite honest. But there it is. I could have taken it out with a Brave Bird. Instead, I'm extending this just a little bit more. We'll set up some spikes and things like that. I know that Infernape is going to be scared to come back in um, because the Ho-Oh is waiting in the wings and basically resists anything that might be same type attack for that Infernape. So um, he hits me with the Ice Beam which does pretty good damage and I am now frozen. Uh, he brings in the Infernape as expected and unfortunately my Skarmory is not looking like it's going to be unfrozen anytime soon. So, we're still on the up and up in this battle, but I think we are going to have uh, probably our first KO here as I try to go for the Brave Bird and just keep keep remaining frozen. Really, I should have switched to the Ho-Oh. Hindsight is 2020. let me tell you that much. But uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Now we'll switch out this Karmory a turn too late and uh, bring in the Ho-Oh, which is going to be good. He's got three... Three times special attack, but that's not really scaring me too much, especially since we got the Illumis. Uh, if things go bad, I can bring that thing in here and just thunder wave the crap out of him. But it's not going to be necessary. He goes for Hidden Power. It does not do much, and I'm able to take it down with a Brave Bird. Yum! Unfortunately, that also takes down my Ho-Oh, but uh, the Infernape is exactly the reason that I was keeping it around to begin with. So, blind switch here. He sends out a Jinx. Which is a pretty good choice. I send out my Illumis because it has Tailwind and Thunder Wave and crazy crap like that. So we'll go for the Thunder Wave here just to paralyze that Jinx up and make it a nice easy kill because her defenses are super frail. Uh, she goes for Lovely Kiss, which is interesting. I could have Bug Buzzed and probably taken a good chunk out, but I think in the long run, Paralyzing is uh, going to be the right choice because with the Lovely Kiss, she will probably start, yeah, statting up just like that. Nasty plotting up. So um, I'm expecting my Illumis to wake up shortly here so we can encore that nasty plot and uh, keep it locked in. But if the Ice Beam starts coming, um, Skarmory and Gorgeist are definitely going to be in trouble. I think Illumis might have what it takes to uh, live through one Ice Beam. Not a max boosted one, but maybe three times special attack. I'm not really sure. If I was him, I'd shoot. Yeah, there goes the Psy Shock. Shit. But it is still paralyzed, so um, not all hope is lost. We can still do some stuff. Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck's going to get in there way faster than uh, that Jinx. And I'm kind of just going to try and fish for some, some paralysis hacks. But it doesn't seem like that is going to happen. Uh, luck has not been on my side so much today. Uh, you know, people are getting legendaries and things like that. I guess I did get a Ho-Oh, but in both of these matches, I really did feel kind of outpaced by my enemy's team. So, uh, there's about the last substitute I could make. I could probably make one more, but I ain't gonna do it. So, it's broke that Ice Beam, that's just fine. I'll fucking finish this thing off with a return. And you can see those defenses just so frail. And I do have a Life Orb, um, which is probably necessary to get the full one-hit KO. Here's the swallow out one more time. It's not going to be a problem. A little bit more return. Boop, boop. And Sawsbuck has uh, no gas left in the tank. But that's relatively fine. He's going to be okay. What's the last Pokemon? Ursa Ring! We'll just hit that thing with a fucking jump kick and be outy. So, friends, this has been Pokemon Day's Random Battles. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, I hope you will like, comment, 
and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I will send you a leather couch. You can let your friends sleep on it. You can put your butt on it. It's pretty nice. Here's the hit on top, Mock Punch KO, and I'll see you in the next time, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.